Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about the cash flow and fair market value of general and So first, what is a cash flow? It's a term that refers to payment received or that we call cash inflows or the payments or deposits made cash outflows. So pag sinabi natin cash inflows, that can be represented by positive numbers. At pag sinabi naman natin cash outflows, that can be represented by negative numbers. So the fair market value or economic value of a cash flow or the payment stream on a particular date refers to a single amount that is equivalent to the value of payment stream at that date. So this particular date is called the focal date. So your focus natin is to find the fair market value. For example, number one, Mr. Ribaya received two offers on a lot that he wants to sell. Mr. Ocampo has offered 50,000 and 1 million lump sum payment five years from now. Mr. Cruz has offered 50,000 pesos plus 40,000 every quarter for five years. Compare the fair market value of the two offers if money can earn 5% compounded annually, which offer has a higher market value. So first, so kailangan natin makita yung cash flows ng dalawang offer, kay Mr. Ocampo at kay Mr. Cruz. Yung offer ni Mr. Ocampo is meron siyang down payment na 50000 at after 5 years, so magbibigay siya ng 1 million. Okay? After 5 years, 1 million. And then, kay Mr. Cruz offer naman, down payment na 50,000, pero every quarter, so every quarter, no, meron siyang regular payment na 40,000. So, titignan natin kung sino sa dalawa ang mas uh, may magandang fair market value. So, again, so, titignan natin kung, kung ito si Mr. Revaya, no? Alin dito kay Mr. Ocampo at kay Mr. Cruz offers yung uh, sino sa dalawa ang pipiliin natin. Okay, para ma-solve natin, kasi tingnan natin kung sino ang may mas mataas na fair market value. Okay, again, uh, ang kunin natin dito ay kung sino ang mas mataas na fair market value. Okay, first is kunin muna natin yung uh, kay Mr. Ocampo offer. No, compute muna natin. So, meron siyang down payment na 50,000 and then the future value is 1 million kasi after bar, after 5 years of a 1 million lump sum payment. No? And then, uh, the nominal rate, we have 0 0.05. That is 5%. So, i-convert na natin in decimal. That is 0 0.05. And the term is 5 years. And the frequency of conversion is 1 since that is compounded annually. And then N, so paano kinukuha yung N? That is M times T. Since yung M natin is 1 and T is 5, so 5 times 1, N is equal to 5. And yung I natin, that is R over M, or 0 0.05 divide 1, the answer is 0 0.05. So, itong kay Mr. Ocampo offer, so, makukumpute natin yung present value by using the uh, formula of compounded more than once a year. So, gamit yung formula for the present value of compounded more than once a year, and that is P is equal to the future value over 1 plus I raised to N. So, ang gagawin lang natin, substitute lang natin, at, no, yung mga values dito, dito sa formula natin. So that is 1 million over 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to 5. Okay. And then using your scientific calculator, sa mga previous video lesson natin, nagturo ako kung paano gamitin yung calculator. So, bago nyo ito mapanood, sana napanood nyo muna yung mga previous video lesson para guided kayo how to use scientific calculator. So, gamit ang scientific calculator, the answer is 783,000 526.17 So, that is the present value ng offer ni Mr. Ocampo. So, ano yung fair market value niya? So, compute natin yung fair market value. And that is down payment plus the present value. 
Okay? So, the down payment is 50000 plus the present value na 783,526.17. The answer is 833,526.17. So, yun yung kay Mr. Ocampo. Offer. So, ngayon naman, uh, sold natin yung kay Mr. Cruz. So, sabi kayo sa offer ni Mr. Cruz, he offered 50,000 plus 40,000 every quarter for 5 years. Okay, so given natin, so meron ding down payment na 50,000. And then, uh, dito sa kanya, so meron siyang regular payment every quarter. So, ibig sabihin, uh, every 3 months, magbabayad siya ng 40,000. And then, the term is 5 years. And then, meron tayong M sub 1 kasi this is an example of uh, general ordinary annuity. So, bago itong lesson na to, na-discuss no, yung about general annuity. And M sub 2, we have uh, 1 kasi compounded annually. So, yung M sub 1 nakuha natin dito sa every quarter. So, kaya 4. And yung M sub 2 naman nakuha natin sa compounded annually. And then, yung R natin, so yung R natin is 0 0.05 because 5%. And yung N naman natin, M sub 1 times T. So, M sub 1 times T, and that is 4 times 5, the answer is 20. Ngayon, kailangan muna natin isolve yung equivalent rate ng compounded quarterly of 5% compounded annually. So, kailangan natin makuha yung equivalent rate niya. So, gamit yung formula na to, okay, so substitute lang natin yung mga given values natin. And that is 1 plus 0 0.05 over 1 raised to 1 fourth minus 1. Okay, using your scientific calculator, the answer is 0 0.01227223. So, ito yung equivalent rate ngayon. So, ang suggested ko sa inyo, ang suggestion ko sa inyo pala ay kunin nyo yung 8 decimal places para safe na tayo dun sa final answer natin. So, yan din yung diniscuss ko sa inyo, tinuro ko sa inyo sa mga previous video lesson, nakapagkukunin natin yung uh, yung number ng decimals, na yung pagkuha natin ng number of decimals ay 8. Okay? So, at least 8 para safe na tayo dun sa final answer natin. So, makukuha na natin yung present value using the formula that is the regular payment times 1 minus 1 plus i raised to negative n over i. So, anong gagawin? Substitute nyo lang yung mga formula. Ay, yung mga given values pala sa formula na to. And that is 40,000 times 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.01227.23 yung value ng i natin raised to negative 20. So, ito yung value ng N natin over the value of I. Using your scientific calculator, the answer is 705,572.68. So, that is the present value sa offer ni Mr. Cruz. So, kunin natin yung fair market value. So, down payment plus the present value, 50,000 plus 705,572.68. The fair market value sa offer ni Mr. Cruz is 755,572.68. So, kung isasam, marais natin yung offer ng dalawa ni Mr. Ocampo at ni Mr. Cruz. Kay Mr. Ocampo, yung uh, fair market value niya is 833,526.17. Kay Mr. Cruz naman, 755,572.68. Kung ikaw si Mr. Rebaya, so kaninong offer yung pipiliin mo? So, kitang-kita naman no, sa offer ng dalawa that uh, Mr. Ocampo offer has a higher market value because the difference between the market values of the two offers at the start of the term is 77,953.49. Masyadong malayo, malaki yung difference sa offer ni Mr. Ocampo kaysa kay Mr. Cruz. Another, which offer has a better market value? Company A offers 150,000 at the end of 3 years plus 300,000 at the end of 5 years. So, dalawa yung kukumpitin natin present value dito. Yung 3 years, 
uh, plus 300,000 at the end of 5 years at saka yung at the end of 3 years. And sa company B naman, offers 25,000 at the end of each quarter for the next 5 years. So, assume the money is worth 8% compounded annually. So, una, compute muna natin yung kay company A. So, ano yung mga given values? We have the future value which is 150,000 oh, after 3 years yan. And then yung isa, 300,000 after 5 years. So, yung rate natin is 8%. That is equivalent to 0.08. And that time or the term is 5 years. So, 5 years kapag, okay, dalawa kasi yung given, no, na year dito sa, na term dito sa uh, company A. Yung 5 and then yung 3. So, kapag uh, after, uh, yung time nyo is 5, yung N natin is 10. Okay? And then sa kapag 3 years, yung N natin is 6. Why? Yung M natin is 2. Bakit 2? So, every 6 months, no, ibig sabihin, dalawang beses sa isang taon, kaya semi-annually yan. So, that, therefore, yung M natin is 2. So, bakit 10? Kapag uh, ang term niya is 5 years, kasi that is 5 times 2, kaya 10. Sa isa naman, so, kapag ang term natin is 3 years, so, 2 times 3, kaya yung N natin is 6. And yung i natin, 0 0.08 divide 2, so m over 2, the answer is 0 0.04. So, the present value of 150,000 3 years from now is what? So, using the formula, so this is another formula, no? Yung kanina, iba yung formula na present ko, pero same lang yung dito. No? Same lang dito. So, that's future value plus 1 plus i raised to negative n. So, substitute lang natin yung given, 150,000 times 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to negative 6. The answer is 118,547.18. And then, dun sa uh, after 5 years naman, so 300,000 after 5 years, so that is 300,000 times 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to negative 10. The answer is 220,669.29. So, yun yung offer ni company A. So, paano natin computing yung fair market value nito? So, that is P1 or P sub 1 plus P sub 2 or add lang natin yung dalawang present value niya. No? Yung present value ng 150,000 after 3 years, then yung present value ng 300,000 after 5 years. So, the answer is... 118,547.18 plus 220,669.29 at 25, the answer is 321,216.43. So, that's the present, uh, the fair market value sa, kay, sa offer ni company A. So, tingnan naman natin sa offer ni company B. So, may regular payment at 25,000 sa bawat quarter, no? each quarter. And then, M sub 1 is 4 since quarterly. And then, M sub 2 is 2 because compounded semi-annually. And then, the term is 5 years. Okay, yung rate natin is 0 0.08 and N is 20. So, yung N natin is M sub 1 times T, kaya 20 yan. And then, yung I natin na kung saan kailangan natin kunin no, yung equivalent rate. No? Kailangan natin yung kunin yung equivalent rate ng compounded quarterly sa 8% compounded semi-annually. So, gamit lang yung formula na yan. Substitute lang natin yung mga given values na nandito sa formula na to. So, 1 plus 0 0.08 divide 2 raised to 2 over 4 minus 1. The answer is... 0 0.01980390 Okay, and then compute now the present value of annuity. So, R times, or the regular payment is 25,000 times 1 minus 1 plus. So, the value of the equivalent rate raised to negative 20 over the value of I. So, the answer is using your calculator that is 409,000 560.48 So ibig sa So ano ngayon ang mga ano niya fair market value
So, ibig sabihin class, pag titingnan natin, no? Pag titingnan nyo, okay? Sa dito pa lang, makikita nyo na agad that company B is preferable since its market value is larger. Okay? Since uh, dito pa lang makikita nyo na, kasi kanina sa... Uh, company A, magkano lang yung offer ni, uh, magkano sa company A? 321,216.43. Dito, yung market value sa company B, 409,000. So, therefore, company B is preferable since its market value is larger. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.